What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel. And today we're delving into a topic that's not only pivotal, but also personal. Now, as a black man in the tech industry, I've witnessed firsthand both the challenges and the transformative potential of DEI programs. I mean, these initiatives are crucial for creating opportunities and leveling the playing field, which is why the recent lawsuit against IBM's subsidiary Red Hat caught my attention. Stephen Miller's legal group is claiming that Red Hat's DEI efforts constitute anti-white male bias. And this lawsuit is a flashpoint that could influence how companies across the tech sector approach diversity and inclusivity. So let's unpack the details and discuss what this means for all of us in the industry. So stick around because this is a conversation I think we really need to have. Let's get to it. All right, so I ran across this article on msn.com. And of course, I'll have this article linked down in the description of the video so you guys can read it for yourselves. But I'll just go down and cover a brief synopsis of what it's all talking about. Now, like I stated earlier, this is a major issue that's stirring things up in the tech community. And Red Hat, a well-known subsidiary of IBM and a major player in our beloved Linux ecosystem, has been hit with a lawsuit by Stephen Miller's American First Legal. They're alleging that Red Hat's diversity, equity, and inclusion programs have led to discriminatory practices against white male employees. Specifically, they point to the case of Alan Kinsley Wood, a former senior director who claims his race and gender were factors in his termination. And Red Hat has set forth ambitious goals to achieve better representation. And that includes 30% of women globally and 30% people of color in the US by 2028. Now, this isn't a isolated case. It reflects a growing trend where DEI initiatives in corporate America are being scrutinized and increasingly challenged legally. And this is especially pertinent following a Supreme Court decision that scaled back affirmative action in education, which has emboldened similar challenges in the corporate sector. And these legal battles could set precedents that impact how companies across our industries approach diversity and inclusion. Now, let me give you guys my thoughts. As a black person that works in the tech industry, and I'm deeply invested in the tech world, I see DEI programs as more than just corporate policies. They are pathways to rectify historical imbalances and enriching our professional environments. Now, diversity isn't just about filling quotas. It's about bringing diverse thoughts, experiences, and perspectives to the table, which in turn drives innovation and creativity. However, the reactions to these initiatives as seen in this lawsuit showcases the complexities and sensitivities involved in implementing DEI. While the intentions behind DEI is to be more inclusive, the approach and execution must be carefully balanced to ensure that no group feels unfairly treated. The fears of reverse discrimination is a significant concern and reflects the need of DEI strategies that promote inclusivity across the board by honoring both diversity and meritocracy. Now, if lawsuits like this one become more common, there could be a significant chilling effect on DEI efforts. Companies might pull back on these crucial initiatives out of fear of legal repercussions, potentially undoing progress towards inclusivity. And this is a crucial juncture for us in the tech community. We must advocate for transparent, fair, and effective DEI strategies that do not just aim for diversity, but ensure that every employee, regardless of their background, feels valued and respected. So what's the path forward? How do we ensure that our efforts to promote diversity do not unintentionally create new divides? It's clear we need a thoughtful approach to DEI, one that genuinely values every individual's contributions while actively addressing inequalities. 
As a black tech professional, I believe we need to have open conversations about this issue. And we need to discuss not just the goals, but also the methods of achieving true inclusivity. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on how we can better balance these initiatives to foster an environment where diversity is celebrated and all talents are valued. So go ahead on and drop a comment down below and let's keep this important conversation going. And if you found this discussion insightful, please like share and subscribe to the keep it techie channel and together we can push for a tech world that truly reflects the diversity of the community it serves so thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace